Today I'm going to show you how you can access the knock counter in Misfire Map. First of all, get into your vehicle, turn the ignition on and connect the cable. Once you've done that, open the T8 suit and load the binary which is on the ECU right now. Once you've completed this, click on File, then Settings, and under Canvas Adapter Type, choose the OBD Link SX. For adapter, you want to choose the correct COM port. In my case, it's COM4. Then click on Configuration, and for the board rate, I would select one like this. I think the default setting is slightly lower, but the higher the board rate, the faster it will go. So you're going to click on OK. OK again. Then click on Real Time, connect ECU, and on the bottom left, you're going to see Initializing Canvas Interface. Now it's showing me connected, which means I have successfully established a connection to my ECU. So click on Real Time again, and here on the right, you can see View Knock Count Map. And in my case, it's completely empty. You want as little knocks as possible, but even if you have some, don't panic. This is going to show all the knocks which occurred from the last time the battery has been disconnected. So if your car has been running for, let's say, two or three years, it will be completely normal to have a few knocks. The only thing where you should be careful, let's say you've got a tune for yourself, and you want to check it via this map and you realize already after you know 30 or 50 miles or you know like 50 to 100 kilometers you basically realize you know this map is completely filled with knocks something isn't right click on close once you have you know looked at all of this real time again and now we can open the view misfire tab and i also have no misfires and as you can see, this is cylinder number one, two, three, and four. Of course, you also don't want too many misfires since they can damage the catalyst. And uh, this just as well could, you know, show you a problem with coils or with, with the spark plugs. So this is also a pretty good map to diagnose certain problems with your vehicle. But even more importantly is the so-called life lock. To do that, click on real time first, disconnect ECU, and now turn on the vehicle. And once the engine has started, you click on real time again. You're gonna connect to the ECU once more. You know, on the bottom left again, we're gonna see, okay, connection has been established. Click on real time and then toggle real time panel. And you should see this basically. And the RPM should move and stuff like that. In my case, it won't, simply because I have the ECU out of the vehicle. And uh, what this live lock is going to do, it's record a certain set of parameters which can be seen here. And as an example, we can see the actual boost, we can see uh, the requested air mass, the actual air mass as well, you know, the air mass which really got into the engine. We can see the ignition, you know, if it's like an offset, is, is it all right? Is that what we have programmed? Are there any knocks detected? Stuff like that. This really helps to find problems, you know? So I would always recommend, once you have tuned your vehicle especially, to run this live lock, simply to make a record of it and see, okay, my car works all right. So this combined with a, a knock map and the misfire map, it really is going to help you to see how the engine behaves. And um, once you have basically completed all this logging, you can just click again, or, you know, you can run the dashboard all the time as well. You can just click on disconnect ECU. And uh, this should, you know, create a file, which we're going to open next. So you're going to be able to find this log file in the same directory as your binary. To open it, click on real time, Loadtronic 8 log file. And then we have this T8L log file. We're going to open it. And uh, since I recorded this like a couple of times, I basically end up with different, you know, um, you know, time sections. I'm going to open my latest one. And in my case, you know, it's completely empty because as I said, the ECU is not in, in the vehicle, but you should be able to see, you know, all this, this stuff. As you can see on the right, um, it records the RPM, the speed, the coolant temperature, um, the intake temperature. It also shows certain limiters, the boost, the APC, you know, how much we're going to keep the wastelet closed and stuff like that. So this can be really interesting. 
And, um, you know, you can look at this for yourself or you can even send it to me if you are in doubt that the engine runs all right. We can look at it together. And yeah, once you have looked at this, you can just click on here, close, and you are good to go. And just to make one thing clear already, it is possible to identify beforehand whether or not a tune or let's say a setup in general is going to run well or not. And I will explain that in the next video.